export unlimited amount of videos for free inside Adobe Rush. Before I start showing you this, I would like to make it clear. I says, this is not me encouraging you to use this. This is one of the things I discovered a couple of days ago. And after trying a couple of more times, I just decided to share with you that this is possible. This is not me encouraging you to use this. I am the Power Director video editing software fan on my decks. I'm using the Power Director to edit my videos if it is need be and adding all the overlays and all the trailers and intros and everything. Adobe Rush, one of these apps I downloaded, tried a couple of times and just forgot about it. Once again, this is not me encouraging you to use that, but still I would like to show it how it's working and it's all down to you how do you want to use this okay so right let's open adobe rush android app for editing videos i am using samsung version what i mean samsung version i downloaded this from samsung store not the google play store from a samsung store i cannot confirm that it's going to work the same what they say that app if you download from google play store this is from a samsung store right so as at the moment, as you can see, I have no project, nothing inside this Adobe Rush. So if I expand this and I create a new project, now I need to find a quick video where me doing some weird stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do this video. So I just selected a video, which is like five seconds long, me cursing everyone on the planet. <laughs> this was a bad day for me. <clears throat> right. And Right now, if I play, it go, it's going around, it's playing fine. I can do a bit of edits, add overlays, add color grading and whatnot, etc. But if I go to share and it says you have two exports available, upgrade for unlimited share. So I have two remaining. Okay. So if I export that, so it's exporting right now, five, six seconds video done. And now it says you have export, one export available. So I had three at the start, then two, and now I have one. So after this one, when I export again, so exporting same video again, it says you reached your export limit, upgrade for limited share. So right now I have, I cannot export anymore because a button is not active anymore. And I get this red message saying that export is not available. To work around, if I go to my settings and this is the settings, I go and find the app apps I'm inside the apps. I need to go in this list where I have all the apps installed and I need to find the Adobe Rush program. I think it's under R for Rush. <laughs> Here you go. Rush for Samsung. If I click on that, it go. It gives me an option for stop it and install, etc. etc. If I scroll down under to do, 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 do storage. There's a two buttons, clear cache and clear data. First, I click clear cache. So app cache is cleared. And then I click clear data and I say, yeah, fine, delete everything. So data is zero bytes and cache is zero bytes. So there is no data or cache related to this app anymore. Close it. If I try to run this app again, it's going to ask me to sign in. So I'm going to click, yeah, I want to sign in via Google. Yes, pick my Google account, logs in, gives me a, do I want to go via tour? I'm going to say skip the tour. I want to straight away go into my videos, allow to access the videos. Let's go and find the same video or oh, actually let's, yeah, let's use this video. So I picked this video, click create. I'm back into the timeline. So that's fine. And if I click share, you have free exports available, upgrade for unlimited share. So that means I got my free back, free, free for free exports back. The downside of this uh, workaround is you still get your um, cloud, cloud, you can keep in the cloud, in Adobe Creative Cloud, up to 100 megabytes of files. So if you're trying to create a video which is more than 100 gigabytes, excuse me, more than 100 gigabytes, 100, not gigabytes, what I'm telling, 100 megabytes. When you are trying to, well, when you're editing 100 megs or less, 
Anyway, this whole video will be packed up at the same time automatically to the Adobe Cloud, Adobe Creative Cloud, uh, Cloud Storage, and it's be there. So that's why I have this. It says it's inside my phone or device and the cloud, this icon, and where is only the cloud, is, it means it's, it's up in a cloud. So I'm just gonna delete both of them. Actually, I'm gonna delete one. <laughs> so I got this one, so we can kind of carry on this. And right now I'm gonna say share and click export. And here you go, two remaining. And if I'll do the same thing again, I'll go to settings, go to apps, go to rush. Rush for Samsung. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is gonna work for the Rush app version on the Google Play Store. It works for Samsung version. I deleted all the all the um, all the um, cache and, and and data. So I'll go back in here, and it's gonna ask me to log in. So I'll click log in. Come on, and we're back from the beginning. I have the tour, I have the the, the uh, tutorial and asking me to activate the access, the the storage. And we're back to, if we click share, I back to a free, for free share, uh, or share, share, share exports remaining. So this is not me to encouraging you to use this, but this workaround I discovered a couple of days ago while I was clearing some of the apps and date and looking what's taking so much space on my tablet, tab S6. And I found this when you're apparently deleting cache and data, the Android um, um, Adobe Rush video editing software resets. Great, isn't it? Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.